dynamic poses. We are going to learn today on how to run those incredible dynamic poses. But not only that, how to make it something that is not looking stiff, something that is look that your anatomy is all broken. So leave a like in this video and subscribe for more. And first things first, why not search for already reference? And that's what we already did. Let me pick right now for you some reference. You can see that I have some reference. And reference are very important. And there are a few ways of getting reference. You can go and just search online on Google, or you can go on specific sites, just like this one called quickposes.com. You can go on this website and start training poses to draw. And it's going to be very, very good, amazing for your progress. This website's for free, anybody can use it. You can type here poses to draw and start drawing and training. Why am I saying this? Why, you may ask? Well, when you're training poses and poses and poses, you're gonna start focusing when drawing them fast. That's the objective of this website. You're gonna start to learn like, hey, I'm not going to pay attention to this curvature of the anatomy. I'm going to the movement and the flow. I don't care about this anatomy part. No, I'm going to focus on the flow. And the more you focus on the flow, the more you are going to improve your art. And that's why it's so important to just practice the basics. Sometimes it's not going all out on the specific details, but pretty much going focused on small, small things that you think, nah, it's not really going to matter, but it does matter, okay? It does matter. Like the dynamic line of the body. As an example, here on this image from Google, you can see there is a line going in the middle of it. Like there is a line. Here too, there is a line happening. Here too, there is a line. Here, here, and here. What is happening? That's the main line of the movement. You gotta have that main line on your drawing to understand like, hey, oh, this is happening. Oh, this is not happening. And when you understand that's happening, your joints just start flowing so, so, so much better. It's very important to focus on a specific line of movement and then you start adding the rest, like arms and everything. Another thing that I wanted to show that you can get your dynamic poses to work, let me pick here. This is my deviant art. Something that I do a lot and I recommend you guys doing is literally just favoriting a lot of artists that you admire. And on all of those artists that you admire, just have like this big folder of them. Because when you have that big folder of different artists that you like, you can just go like, hey, I love this artist. And that's real, I love this artist. <laughs> I love Karen. <laughs> I love her art. And I already have e very easily to see a lot of reference of poses here happening. And I can even see more dynamic poses that she did here. Oh my, look at this pose. Look at this Shiba. Look at this horse thing flying, this dragon. I already have a lot of poses from this artist and I can do the same by many other artists that I've been followed here. Right now, I'm, I'm filming myself. You can just take a photo of you or look yourself in front of a mirror or some kind of thing like that. That's a very good way of doing that. Splash artists, they do that a lot. This is a 3D website. I like this website a lot. You can have a lot of poses. Let me give an example here, Sonic. Okay, here's Sonic. Do you see this? Do you see? I can just drag and drop and see his... Okay, I can just... <laughs> you can just drag and drop and go and see all the angles of him. There's also this website that I have never shown. Call it fake clients. <laughs> and you get dynamic poses and you generate a dynamic pose. Look at this. Look at this. It literally generate for you beautiful poses and dynamic. Look at look look at this. Look at look at look at this so beautiful it is. Now let's go into the tutorial. I'm going to show three types of dynamic poses. One that is half body that people use for very educative ways. Dancing just normal dancing, just characters being happy. And Tatakai, that is going to be the character. Shinzo's attacking. And all of them, I'm going to show you how you gotta be thinking all the time, how you gotta always be like, hey, I'm gonna change this here, I'm gonna put this there. Okay, first, when we are going to draw a Tatakai pose, what am I going to do? What me, GBT, ears drawing is going to do? To choose a pose that I like.
Okay, I want to do this pose right here, okay? This pose, like attacking forward, like... Arr! I could be doing all already the neck and all of the movement here. No, you don't go and do that. No, 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 you don't do that. You go and do the movement. You see this line that I did here? This is a very important line. Why am I telling you this? Because this line is going to determine all of the movement of your body, of your pose, okay? So when you're doing this line, you gotta follow it with all of the dynamic of the anatomy, with all the dynamic of the perspective, with the depth, with everything. And wh why your drawing is looking stiff, why your drawing is looking like, hey, it's too broke, because you are not following the gesture, the overall what is happening. You're not following it. You're not following what is overall happening. And that's very important, guys. Very, extremely important. This is our first, first gestual drawing. What is gestual drawing? Just to get the movement going on, okay? Just that. It, it doesn't look, it doesn't need to look any perfect, but we are gonna make it look amazing. That's what you gotta know. It's just, you just gotta pick the movement, okay? Now I'm gonna start doing more of the movement and adjusting. I'll be adjusting anything that I don't like, okay? We gotta already fix any problem that could appear like in your final rendered artwork. We don't want to leave the trouble for the final rendered. We gotta fix it now because it's much more simple to fix now with this simple sketch than later when you have everything rendered with shadows and light. Yeah, like going pretty much frontally. This one is going more back, but I want the leg here to go more frontally, okay? Frontally. See, that's how you use a reference and you start changing it little by little. If you're a beginner, it's fine that you do the same pose as the one that you're just looking at, but if you can improve that pose... Mm, oh my... And don't be shy to pick your lasso too or any other two and just kind of try different things like rotating like like this feet there is a very good connection here between the arm the shoulder with the torso of the body no matter if it's a female charter or a male charter you gotta know how to connect it well okay so first things first you gotta remember, there is the chest muscle right here. There is the deltoid right here, trapezium here, and also some lats here, lats muscles from your back. And they are connecting, and here are some muscles from your rib cage. All of them are connecting. The more you understand how they are connecting, the more natural your arm will look connected to the body. And here, forearm. Forearm is going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Da, da, da. You got it. That's right. It's going to happen an exaggeration in the size. Why? Because it's closer to me. And if it's closer to me, it's going to be bigger. It's not going to be out of nowhere bigger. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Just like here, I could have closed this much more. But no, I already let it be open. 
this line could be closing much more, this other one could be closing much more. But no, I did it a little bit more like, hey, you're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger! Right now, I'm going to add the chartered features. I recommend anyone that is trying to add the chartered features, mainly after getting all the pose well done, okay? This is a commission that I'm doing, by the way. I'll show this example. Here, this pose right here. Where is the first one? This. This was my first gesture. No jokes at all. This was my first gesture. Right? Just like a circle and a stickman and that's it. And this is not even my first stickman. I did so many stickmans to choose this pose. For you to see that even on stickman, you gotta try many, many, many times until you get the pose that you want, the dynamic that you want. Because dynamics, it's something that you gotta keep trying to see if you're doing something better or not. So, what I did here, just a quick pose and then let's improve that. You already did it, I already did it like if we were on the third part, but not only that, you can see the movement from the head to the tail and from here to the legs bending. You can see those movements and the spear in the direction of the character, of the monster and everything. These are the small details that get your artwork looking even more wow! So that's why it's so important to have a great gesture. I see you rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's had a bad If you did the pose first, you gotta do the environment following the same perspective as your pose As an example, in this one, it's a pose where this area here is closer And everything is getting back, you can see here, everything is going back You can see this happening, and not only the lines here, there is also another point going here there are two points. This is a two-point perspective, by the way. If I did this area here even thicker, it was going to be a three-point perspective because we already... It's a three-point perspective. I don't want to make it hard for you guys, so it's a two-point. <laughs>
you can do some line actions. So it looks like the charger is really moving fast, you know? I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic. Go! To last with the webs I'm weaving, I can change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop competing. If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat and make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them. If you take off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, don't no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep by your face, no way you don't want it, yeah Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity Come on, we can fight this Freedom is priceless Spread just like a virus Living in a crisis Do you feel courageous? Do you see greatness? Trust me, you can take it Go on and take your rain, man I'm built to last with the webs I'm weaving I can change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like gas, then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them If you take off the gas, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing Play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11, 11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free 
great thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they scheme me Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round if it helped you, why not subscribe to this channel and receive even more amazing content? Not only that, when we are on our learning journey, we want to learn with great content, great, great, great content. And if you're here pretty much focused on only on learning art, not too much on the fun part, why not check out our game road and you can get right there our packs of full tutorials that keep expanding with lifetime access and it keeps getting bigger and bigger. I keep on adding tutorials there. Yeah, you can get it, link down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, our cause on doing free Twitch tutorials, free live stream tutorials, and free YouTube tutorials, you can try joining now into our Patreon. Well, champ, you are amazing. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye!